What's up guys, my name's AK and in today's video I'll be showing you a really cool trick on how to reduce the input delay on your controllers when you're playing on PC. So for those of you that play competitive Call of Duty, you'll know that Challengers this year has moved to uh, sort of a cross-play system. You can play on Xbox, PS4 or PC. Uh, I made a video on that, by the way, not too long ago. You can check that out in the uh, in the top corner. But um, yeah, you'll know that it's moved to cross-play. So there'll be quite a few people that are playing on PC. And this is where controllers might suffer with a bit of input lag. And it's uh, quite luckily the system you can do something about that. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to reduce the input lag on your controller. Let's get into it. So first of all, I just wanted to bring this Reddit post to your attention. There'll be a link to this in the description. Basically, it's a chart of mean input lag with uh, a whole range of different controllers. As you can see, uh, I've gone for an Xbox One wired controller uh, when I brought my scuff. I'll show you what it looks like just there. Uh, I did a video unboxing this not too long ago, so uh, sorry to keep plugging the videos, but there'll be another link to that in the top corner if you want to go check out the unboxing. But um, yeah, basically, if you haven't yet brought your controller, uh, be sure to have a little look at this, and this will make sure that you're uh, getting the, the lowest input delay controller that you can i mean that's one of the reasons i bought an xbox controller i did mention that in the video but you can see xbox one wired uh, with a very low input delay there and uh dualshock 4 bluetooth has the lowest but that has some uh, sort of stability issues so that's probably not the best thing you do want a wired controller for competitive so for a wired controller that's pretty much the best you can get but anyway with that out of the way let's show you how you can uh, decrease the input lag so what you want to do is you want to come to this website uh, it's a download uh, I'll put a link to this in the description and you want to find this second one here uh, hid USB F zip and click on that and download it Once you've installed that, you just want to open up the file. As you can see, this is what we've got inside. Now, I'm just going to make another um, sort of file folder for this. So if I go onto my PC, onto my dedicated Call of Duty SSD. Yes, I have one. Um, what do we want? We want that. And then we're just going to make a new file. And uh, we'll call this uh, controller optimization or something. I think that's how you spell it. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take all of this and just drag it into our new folder. Now, this folder can be anywhere on your PC, um, but yeah, I've just decided to put this in my SSD. Now we can close this. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, the control optimization or whatever you've named your folder, go into driver, and then we're going to load this setup here and it will give us a uh, notification on screen. So we're going to press yes to that and then you can see we have this small box come up here now officially this is a, a mouse input delay system uh sort of uh, reducing mouse input delay but if you go to all it will show all of the um uh, connected devices that you have now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to plug my controller in now and you should see another device gets added as you can see we have xbox one controller now if you i think ps4 controllers show as a usb composite device but in this bit here you'll see that it uh, mentions controller so that's how you know which one it is so from that, what we're going to do is we're going to press filter on device. We're going to change this from default to a thousand and then press install service. Simple as that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the controller and plug it back in. As you can now see, our controller shows up uh, with a rate a thousand uh, interval one. It was previously uh, four. I think PS controllers come up as five. Maybe I'm not too sure. You'll have to check that for yourself, but essentially that's it. You've now got a lot less input delay on your controller. Uh, I think it goes down to near enough one millisecond. Um, if you've got a PlayStation 4 controller, you can download the DS4 software and that will let you actually test the input delay. But um, yeah, it, it, it should have reduced the input delay on your controller. So that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and uh, yeah, drop a subscription. There's going to be lots of uh, competitive Call of Duty content coming throughout the rest of the year as, uh, as I hopefully try and make it pro. So if you're interested in following that, I do have another series called Path to Prestige. Uh, there'll be a link to that playlist in the description. And uh, yeah, go check it out. So with that said and done, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you all soon. Have a good one.